Hello, my friends. What's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan, and I am here with a live. I have not been live in quite some time, I think a month, and I'll tell you why in another video. But I am here because I'm going to be um, interviewing my friend Wendy, who is the founder of the Dutch Fruit Festival, which I've never been to, but I really want to go one day. Hopefully I will go. Hopefully I'll see you there. Um, so I have a bunch of questions because she has a brand new book out. We're both in something called the Raw Vegan Bundle. It, actually, it's the ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. So give me, put a watermelon uh, emoji down below if you've gotten the bundle yet. I'm very curious because if you've gotten the bundle, I don't need to tell you about it. So let me know. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much. I'm a little nervous. Actually, I'm very nervous. Um, so yeah, Wendy is going to be joining me. We're going to be talking about her new book called The Sauce Book. The Sauce Book. And um, I think she's like halfway around the world. So hey, Sherry, what's up? I think she's in Holland, as far as I know. So we shall see. Um, what time it is for her. But, um, so yeah, waiting for Wendy to join me. And while I wait, does anybody have any questions about the bundle? Who here has gotten the bundle? Give me a watermelon emoji down below if you got the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle, which is brand new. It's 35 courses um, and eBooks on, hey, what's up? It's 35 courses and eBooks all raw, all oil-free, low-fat recipes. It's completely, honestly, it is, it's, it's very original because it's completely raw and it's completely low-fat and oil-free. Where are you gonna find all those recipes? I think there's about 500, um, I think it's about 500 recipes. Focus on the sauce. Uh, yes, it's all about the sauce, maybe. The sauce is like, that's really key to eating a healthy dinner. Okay, for sure. And Wendy has joined us. And I just, before I, um, let us let me request her. And before I bring her in, I just want to remind you guys that there's only, um, I think, so today is Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Se eight days. Sorry, that took me a minute. There's eight days left to get the bundle. You can click the link in my bio or Wendy's bio, and you're going to get my brand new course and Wendy's brand new book on sauces, raw vegan sauces, for less than $2 each. That's ridiculous. Um, I don't know how much Wendy's book is gonna be, but my course is gonna be $99. So I highly recommend you check it out for the next um, eight days. And um, after that, my course is gonna be $99. So uh, I recommend you check it out. If you are interested in eating healthy and finding some incredible resources on going raw, my course is called How to Be a Healthy Raw Vegan because for many years I was a very unhealthy raw vegan and so I learned what to do, what not to do, and um, the bundle was worth the $49 still going through it. Yes, thank you, Sherry. Thank you so much for buying the bundle, Sherry. I really appreciate that. And, um, you know, for sure, just m my course alone is $99, guys. It's going to be $99. So let me get Wendy in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wendy. Okay, here we go. Yes. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Janet. How are you? I am good. So you're in Holland, correct? No. Okay, I thought I I, I thought I had it wrong. You're in Spain somewhere. I'm in Spain. Yeah. <laughs> you knew this. You knew so this. The festival. The festival. The festival is in the Netherlands, eight to eleven August. In the Netherlands, so that's also known as Holland, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I wasn't sure. It's Netherlands and Holland. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's the same thing. Um, we call it. Um, I'm, I don't see you very well. I like that. Um, yeah. So we have two provinces named North and South Holland, but yeah, a lot of people tend to say Holland instead of the Netherlands. So we'll just do it with that. <laughs> Yeah, I've never been, but I am, my grandpa was from Holland, so 
Yeah, I'm part Dutch. Okay. Cool, cool. And <laughs> with your last name, Donafrio. Donafrio? Italian? Yeah, Italian. Yeah. <laughs> but my grandpa on my mom's side. So, okay. So, Wendy, you have a brand new book. And okay. exciting because I feel like the secret is the sauce, right? Like the secret to a healthy, raw dinner is the sauce. Right. It's it's what makes it what's it's what makes your salads so delicious. It's what makes your salads for um, having a lot of variety, different flavors. This is what you need. You know that's what they say, like the the, the cherry on the pie or something like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I, in this case, it's an essential. Um, a lot of people go, oh, I can't eat lettuce every day. It's not about lettuce. You can use any vegetable any leafy green, anything that looks like a vegetable, even you can even use sprouted um, legumes and they all go awesomely together um, with some sauce. So you can use sauce for dipping, for making dipsticks, for making wraps to dip or sushis to dip. You can make spaghetti out of it. And um, I have some serving examples in the book as well. And I got it here, you wanna see? Yeah, I would love okay, to. Okay, 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 I'll take it. Okay, guys, what we're talking, if you just joined us, thank you so much for being here. We're talking about the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle, which is on sale only for the next eight days. And you're going to get 35 ebooks, courses um, by some of the best people in the business, like Wendy, Raw Food Romance, Chris Kendall, Ted Carr has a book has a course on how to start your own business uh, so much. And seriously, guys, it's only available till next Monday and then it's gone forever. A misfit vegan. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so check out the link in Wendy's bio. Okay. And if you're watching on YouTube, I will link Wendy's uh, link below. So oh, thank you so much. I'm always so happy to say that to people like that. We are like all like working for our own and that we all got like uh, affiliate, right? We yes, still love yes. that. Okay, so look, it was I was trying to check out the paper, like the kind of paper they have and the colors and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then they sent me, yeah, do you wanna, when you order with us a print, we can send you an example. So I replied his email in Spanish. Oh yeah, it's cool. And three days later, poof, I'm like, oh, but this <laughs> was like the draft, draft version, you know, like, <laughs> just to ask how will it be in the actual book so i'm like super yeah wow. like, congratulations. Wow. congratulations that's one of my dreams to have an actual real book that i can hold in my hands so <laughs> well um if you need some help with that i now figured it out so it took me some time like <laughs> i will hit you up for sure so um so it's available in spanish yes Yes, it will come available on St. Jordi. That's like a Valentine's Day here in Spain. And uh, it's, like, it's very common for men to give a rose to their woman. Yes. And then common for the woman to give a book to their men. So, yeah. What a better, no better book than the sauce book. By yeah, yeah. Actually, we'll have both. So I got this one too. Ooh. The nice cream. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's not in our bundle right now, but it will be uh, in Spanish. So they'll be coming on um, something called like Amazon Kindle. I mean, some sort of Amazon Kindle. It's not really cool, but it means that anywhere where there is Amazon, you can order it and then it gets printed and it comes to your house. Uh, I love it. I love it. So, yeah, I think I need... Uh, oh, three more weeks, two, three more weeks, and it'll be, it'll be there. And um, yeah, until that time, um, yeah, for the same price, you can have awesome, awesome 35 books and courses right now, so yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, I would highly recommend you get the bundle, but also your book physically, because there's nothing better than having a physical recipe book in front of you, you know? That's just like, it makes everything so much easier. Uh, yeah, I, I love them. Actually consider, like, printing the the holiday book that was in the bundle like just asking the printer here like can you print me one copy please you know because it's so beautiful like hardcover copy i wish honestly wendy i wish all the books were physical of course you know it's just like 
But I mean, we, what I've been doing personally is I've been taking photos of everything that I love and putting it in a folder so that when I'm making dinner, I just go right there, see what I want to do. Or you're at the grocery store, you see the recipe you want. And speaking of recipes, so I'm seeing all over the internet your heavy metal detox pesto. Is that, that's, yeah. You do? Yeah, it's everywhere. When you, <laughs> so what, Amazing. What is in this pesto? It's low fat and it detoxes heavy metals. What are some ingredients? Yes, so um, one of the main ingredients is parsley. Mm. And yeah, that's amazing. And the other main ingredient is cilantro. And both of them are really good in giving you other metals, you know, like calcium, magnesium, and iron. And the other half of the ions, yeah, it's ions mixed together in a metal structure. That's how it works chem chemically. I'll, I'll try to explain that in an easy way without having a, a board here. <laughs> you have, so I could put a board here and then draw it for you. Um, but basically, make sure that if you have an excess of uh, aluminium or mercury or lead or cadmium, uh, either here in Spain, like the pipes, they're like old pipes, are also lead and yeah, that's not healthy to have in your body and it prevents your nervous system from functioning optimally. So we don't want those. And then what the body does, it stores it in the fat cells. And when people start to like lose weight, go on detox, be healthier, the body's like getting this, oh, they, they say, oh, this mercury is bad. And they push it out the cell, out the fat cell, inside the lymphatic system. And then the lymphatic system has to get rid of it. But if you have nothing to bind it on, or to replace it with, where does it go? Well, what I didn't know, but I do know now, it gets reabsorbed and it can even go uh, reabsorb in your bloodstream and then you'll feel weird, you get like allergies, you get like maybe sun rash or something. So we don't want all of that. So to prevent these heavy metals, the bad heavy metals, because they're also, the other ones are also have metals and they're also a little heavy, but these are heavier. We want to bind them. And so cilantro and parsley are an amazing tool. The other ingredients are, are, are very good for you when you have a cold or something like that. Um, but the main is in the, in the parsley and the cilantro. Yeah. You know what? I'm so glad you brought up the lymphatic system because I have been obsessed with it because I think it's more, I mean, the immune system is very important, but the lymphatic system is the thing that's responsible in our bodies for removing the toxins and keeping us healthy. I think it's yeah. the most important uh, thing that we can talk about is the lymphatic system. And it's actually, there's four times the amount of lymph fluid in our blood than, than blood. There's four times the amount. And nobody talks about the lymphatic system, yeah. about the immune system, you know? Yeah, in, in, it's called um, interstitial fluid as well. So in technical terms, lymphatic fluid, lymph fluid is interstitial fluid. And also between the red blood cells and other cells uh, and salts in your blood is blood plasma. Blood plasma is actually the interstitial fluid is the lymphatic fluid. It's the same thing. And this is, yeah, well, I, I did study this, you know, I did get my diploma. But for me, when I studied it the first time in school, I was really amazed. I was looking at it, I was like, oh, yeah, makes sense. You know, when they took your blood out and they do a test, they spin it in a machine. You know, you see the white, the white stuff and then the red stuff on the top. And then like, oh, yeah, so the white stuff is the same that is in the rest of my body. Oh, 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 cool. So it's the fluid in between the cells. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that, that's cool. Makes sense, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. And so, okay, so what is your favorite recipe, Wendy, from the book? Like, what's the one okay. that So, the especially, you mean this picture, right? Mm-hmm. What is or, that? That, that? That's the heavy metal removal variation. Basically, you make a tzatziki base with garlic, if you like it, garlic. And then you get something like this, this here. Look, it's, it's, it's not so much and it's very thick. And then you, then you make your tzatziki style base, which is the other one, this one. 
It's mm. like super liquid and it's super creamy, but it's watery because it's tzatziki, you know, like it's got like cucumber and coconut and lime and garden cress. And yeah, that makes it all like super, super fresh in a way you use it in a way you would use like old fashioned tzatziki that's made with yogurt. And then you mix it with that. What makes it creamy? Is it tahini? Coconut. Oh. Young Thai coconut, okay? Mm, and when I don't have it, I use coconut flakes to like blend it all up. Or sometimes just some um, almonds, but you have to soak these almonds super long, take the brown off and then um, throw them in. And yeah. it makes it super, like super creamy. And if you add also a little bit of the coconut water to it, sweet as well. It's really, I think that's really amazing. So every time, like when I'm going down with my iron, you know, the period's coming and you got this black stuff going on and mm, oh, I look in the mirror and think, oh no, it's the time of the month. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I look in the mirror for that. And um, yeah, then I started crave, crave things like that. Also spinach, but spinach somehow doesn't work. Like I, I look at the spinach and I eat it, doesn't work, but I, when I eat this stuff, it works. So yeah, that's, and then I have the, um, my, my red sauce, my tomato sauce, sunny tomatoes with sun dried tomatoes. It's, it's the most simple thing ever, like this. Ooh. And, and uh, what is the fat? What is the creaminess? Tomato. Oh, so fat free. Okay. Okay. So. You add rosemary, fresh rosemary, like, like, like I have four, four, four twigs. So if I have like four tomatoes, four regular size uh, Pomodori tomatoes, I have four rosemary stems with. And then in rosemary, there's essential oils. They're also super fat beneficial for your health, for your arteries, you know, for your blood. And that the oil in that is doing something with the tomato but you must also add something citrus or like you must add lemon lime or or i use sometimes apple cider vinegar so i'm not that strictly raw because i kind of like apple cider vinegar so yeah but you you must add one of that and then it's just a matter of blending and it becomes thick and these red things are just sun-dried tomatoes you know, the ones that are super hard and dry, you wash them, you soak them a little bit in water, you throw away the water and then chop it up and it looks like that. Wow. How many recipes when you are in the book? I didn't count. About? There's 60 pages that I know, but they're not 60 recipes. So they're like 25 or something. Wow. And every single recipe, guys, is super healthy and easy to make and will change your life if you let it seriously this bundle will change your life because if you don't know what to make if you don't have the resources and the recipes then you're not ever going to be able to stick to a healthy vegan lifestyle there's no way there's no yeah. way they just eat celery and expect to stay healthy there's no way so yeah, you, gotta add, you gotta add you gotta you gotta dip your celery in something so <laughs> i just said i have so there's like 10 pages of like text about me, about your way to health, like what, that's my pyramid, that's my health pyramid. And then we have um, some, uh, some kitchen tools, some like to explain the names and to show people like you can use a handheld blender, you can have a little S-blade blender, AKA kitchen machine, AKA cheap thing from the supermarket, or you can have like a high speed, mega expensive blender or, any, so uh, there's an explanation and then I got 23 pages that are with the sauces and the rest is um yeah that's inspirational example dishes so there's a pizza and a wrap and there's spaghetti and and crackers and all kind of different um varieties you know what to do with the sauce because I was finished and I thought yeah we should have at least some pictures of what I did with it so that people are getting inspired and some have a complete recipe to how to make the dish and others have just the picture with, okay, you can 
you know, it can make it like that. So, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much, Wendy, for making this book. I don't think there's anything, I'm um, seriously, guys, I don't think there's anything more important to master than your salad dressings and your sauces on a healthy vegan lifestyle. Whether you're raw or not, you're going to have to start making your own food at home. That's the key to being healthy, whether you're raw or not. And even if you are, um, you know, trying to be healthy and not raw, you're still going to want to eat as much raw as possible because that's where the life force is. That's where the vitamins and minerals and nutrients are. So, Wendy, I just want to ask you real quick. Um, are you, do you currently eat a fruit-based diet? What does your diet consist of right now? Mm, I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. I'm all over the place. I love honesty. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, my first years were super strict. I was mostly fruits. And if I had greens, I would juice them. I did juice cleanses and added like super powder food. And yeah, I was just juicing a lot with my meals, like on the day. So I would get more nutrients in because I was so depleted of everything. And I really needed to step up to get my health better and fast. Um, but then when it got all like, okay, I sort of getting into, huh, that's vegan. Maybe it's not raw. Maybe I should try it. So like this cashew cheese and yeah, it's raw, you know, and then I eat it like, oh my God, but I don't think that's really healthy. Actually, <laughs> it's nice to add. There, there's a lot of raw vegan junk food out there for sure. Yeah, so, and then I thought, well, this other cashew cheese doesn't say it's raw, but would, would there be any difference? So I tried that, and I was like, actually, what? There's no difference. It just makes mucus because it's super fat and has this kind of, you know, fermented taste of the probiotics they put in. And um, yeah, so I tried stuff like that, like a lot of different things to see how my body would react. And at this moment, yeah, I'm part of this bundle. And before I did like an inspirational talk on juicing. So I did like five days of juice to, to, you know, for the inspirational talk. And yeah, and now um, I just got a box of cherry moyas two days ago. So the last two days, I'm just eating cherry moyas like this. And they're super sweet, but that's mm -hmm. okay. And then um, Today I made the raw ratatouille of Melody. She has the book in the bundle, French Cuisine. And the day before I had a friend over that helps me with my learning Spanish. And um, I made, I wanted to make a curry for my book, like the curry for my book. She says, oh, can we, can, we, can, can we make something? And she, yeah, they eat here, like they eat here meat and starch. And that's what they eat. And vegetables, they don't really know what to do with. So they eat sometimes a banana and one, one ki kiwi, one box of strawberries, you know, and then we've had it for the week. So, so it was quite a challenge to see for me to, to hope that they like it. So I tried to make this curry ball and then hmm, I was like putting my tomatoes in and thought, well, okay, I don't have any yellow bell pepper. So I put red bell pepper in and put some ginger in and I thought, hmm, I don't feel like curcuma today. So I left that out and then I ended up adding a whole different spice mix, like more like, a, you know, these tagine, these Moroccan tagine things like that, like spices like that. They also with ginger and curcuma, but um, ginger and uh, cardamom and uh, yeah. You get hot from my talking about ginger. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's very hot in where I am. I... You can send me some over because... Uh... <laughs> um, okay, so, and then, um, what is your... I have so many questions I want to ask you, but I just want to ask you two more. Um, what is your... So, so you're eating a healthy vegan lifestyle, I'm guessing, right? Yes, and I really... People think I'm super strictly raw vegan, but yeah, I am just very specific about my apple cider vinegar and my uh, my um, sun-dried tomatoes they they are from the supermarket so these two things they I eat them a lot <laughs> and um, yeah I eat actually just one gigantic fruit meal and then one gigantic veggie lettuce kind of meal meal and then usually after some fruit here and there 
I like to go outside with my kid and have some crackers with, with the fake cheese, you know, the cashew cream sometimes or so, yeah, that's not really super healthy, I guess, but. But you're eating 99% of the population, I would say. So (laughs) my question is because I get a lot of people asking me, how can they stay raw or stay healthy um, living with people that are not healthy? So what, what is your best advice for that? Because people ask me that every single day. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, actually, that's what I started with. I made a course for that. So um, wow. the, the most important thing is that you decide for yourself. And when you decide something, follow through. Write it down and remind yourself on your phone with notifications, like put post-its in your mirror, like remind yourself, oh, yeah, I decided that. So, and then just it's simple. You decide it, so you stick to your decision, you know? And not like, yeah, I'm having a cheat day. I'm having, it's really about, about that. And um, I also think that you have to have reasons. So when you make that decision and you remind yourself, make the longest list of reasons why you're going wrong. Like just take a paper and just start writing, start writing, start writing and make, the longest list ever and just keep rereading it and keep making this list of reasons because these are the things that make you move forward. These are the, this is like compelling for you. Like this is your why, you know? And um, yeah, that's how you stay motivated, I guess. And um, when you have difficulties with reasons, then you watch a video like we making now or you go on YouTube or one of these other people and you just listen, you just turn it on even though you're doing something else in the background because you're vacuuming or something, or maybe vacuum is the wrong thing, brooming because the vacuum make noise. <laughs> and uh, then you hear these other people saying, oh, I did it because and it made me feel good. And then you can add reasons to your list. Like, oh, I want to feel good too. And oh yes, I have this reason too. And then you motivate yourself. And I think if you're into it for three months and you do that for three months, your, your brain is rewired, you know, then you believe that what you're doing is the best for you. If you start having doubts, like some people are really analytic, analytic, analytic. Uh, Yeah. So they are like, yeah, but my friend said the science, Okay, if your friend said the science, dive into the science, you know, like don't not for your friend, but for yourself so that you can that you can feel backed up in your choice, that you feel that you have the right information, that you feel you have the right background. And um, yeah, if you're just doing it to feel make your mom feel good, then it's really, I think, time to look at that because, yeah. It's your life, your body. And if you do it to make your mom feel good, there's nothing wrong with helping your mom feel good. Let, let's say that first. But it's just a pattern that is like in your brain that's not helping you, neither your mom. Because you're sending a message, mom, I'm doing bad for me to make you happy. And she will not be happy if you do bad for you because we all want the best for the other, especially our moms. So. Yes yeah that's like then look at the emotional part of that i know what is the best tip there are a lot of tips you said yes sorry what you said you had a course about this yes it's called the uh, oh what's it called in english five steps for more energy oh i love it so where can people find that Yeah, so the Dutch one's on my website. You can just subscribe for free and then it starts. But the English one is on the same website in the background, but my website's in Dutch. So I can subscribe anybody, but you need to have this special link where you come on the landing page and it's not like visible. (laughs) I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, um, so guys, I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much, Wendy, for coming on with me. I really appreciate you um let's definitely do another live and i want to let everybody know that get wendy's brand new book okay it's called the sauce book right the sauce book the yeah sauce it's all about the sauces sauce. um, over 20 homemade really healthy low fat broccoli and sauces that will change your life they will change your salad game your dips your your, your wrap, pasta everything and you can 
You can find us in something called the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle, which is available until next Monday at midnight. You can get her new book for less than $2. You can also get my new course called How to Be a Healthy Raw Vegan. And one of the biggest things, Wendy, that I talk about is making sure you have the recipes, the easy, simple recipes that you can make with regular stuff, not crazy like ingredients that you've never heard of, okay? Regular stuff like tomatoes, cilantro, parsley, you know, things that you have in your house. It's really important that you get simple, easy, delicious recipes that you're looking forward to making that are easy. Absolutely. And if anybody has downloaded the bundle, I do recommend you take photos or screenshots of the things you love, put it in a folder, and then you'll have it available. Or print it out. Print out the ones you love so that you have them available to you at all times. And Wendy, what you said about the mind is so important because it's all here. You know, if we think it's gonna be easy to be healthy, it's going to be easy. If we think it's going to be hard, it is for sure going to be hard. And so what Wendy said is, listen, when you, when you don't have motivation anymore, put on YouTube, type in raw vegan on YouTube, you'll find hundreds of thousands of millions of videos that will help inspire you, keep you motivated, keep you on track. And um, you got right? That is so inspirational how you speak about that. I totally love it. It's like making me like, I want to do it. I want to do it. It's really so <laughs> motivating. I always want to say like, if you cannot find it there, everybody's always welcome to PM me and then I'll add your email to this because yes. it's free. This energy program is five, five steps to more energy. And I'll just get a reminder email and so, a meditation and a cool yoga practice. And I'll show you how to have fun with handstands. And how to every and every fun thing has like some questions to brain train yourself like so that in the end of the five steps you make your decision and you know how to go for it oh so it's free that's amazing so guys yeah, yeah it's free it's free it's, it's, it's free since 2017 message wendy <laughs> go to her page message her she'll send it to you wow yeah that's... yeah it's, it's it's free it's, it's simple it's like it's just a motivational thing. <laughs> I love it. Okay, my last question to you, Wendy. Uh, somebody said, I resonate with this. I've always believed Raw Vegan will be easy, and it is. Thank you for the great video. Thank you, Laura, for being here. You know, it's so crazy how powerful the mind is. I just, I'm blown away. I, I love learning from people like uh, Bruce Lipton. I don't know if you, yeah, Bruce Lipton. Yeah, Wayne, yeah, yeah. Um, Louise Hay, all these people that remind me how Deepak Chopra, how powerful the mind is. You know, and this raw vegan thing or this healthy vegan thing, it's not even about so much as what you eat, so much as what you believe that you are capable of. You know, a lot of people, they're struggling, they're struggling. Listen, start here. You don't Absolutely. even need to get the bundle. You've got to start here. <laughs> Great. And the bundle will obviously help you. But go on YouTube. If you can't get the bundle, type in how to control my mind, how to change my mind, my thoughts. It's very important. Louise Hay, yes, I love her too. Um, okay, Wendy, last one. You could tell everyone in the world just one thing. It would be translated into all languages. Um, what is one piece of advice that you have learned on health and wellness that you would love to share? No pressure. <laughs> oh, no pressure. No pressure. My phone is saying 10%. Put in the cable. The cable is here. Ooh. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Wendy, answer the question. One thing translated in all languages. Uh, I really need to push the button in because otherwise we'll be we'll be gone. And then poof, you'll be gone. Okay. Okay. No pressure. Uh, okay. I've got so much pressure. <laughs> okay. One thing that's got me translated. Um. I think the most important thing is that you say to yourself, I can do it. Yeah. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. And that's the title of Louise Hay's book. You can heal your life. You can, but you're going to start changing your belief, changing the old negative self-talk changing the way you see yourself. Do you see yourself as a healthy person? You know, a healthy person has 
lots and lots of healthy recipes that they make, right? So if you are struggling, Wendy's book will help you. You've got to start practicing and pretending like you're a healthy person. And guess what? You'll wake up one day and you will be healthy. It, well, I didn't do that with health. I just always thought that I was healthy until I found raw vegan and changed my life. And then I learned that I wasn't healthy before. Right, right. But I did that with happy. It starts with the H too. Like, mm -hmm. I thought like, I'm not happy. No, I don't like actually nothing about my life. What I have no idea why I do stuff. I don't even want to do this stuff. I just do what people told me that was right. And I don't like it. And then this is not making me happy. What is making me happy? And then, you know, that took me six weeks of pacing up and down the living room. But then it hit me, literally. And uh, I thought, okay, well, what makes me happy is making other people happy. And to contribute to life itself. And what what I love, what I love, I love connection, I love people, I, and I love learning. Like for me, learning is like awesome. That's why I got so many diplomas because I love learning. Like I love a new experience. And this is what you have to figure out for yourself, I guess. So yeah, like what I am healthy for me, it was I am happy. And I think with happy comes healthy, because if you're unhappy, you make your body unhealthy. And if you're a lot of pain, it makes you unhappy too. So yeah, you yeah, I love that, Wendy. You can be eating the healthiest diet on earth, but you can still be having a toxic uh, energy, a toxic mentality, and giving off negative emotions, negative feelings, and you will not feel good and you could be eating 100% raw vegan for 20 years you know you can be super healthy but if you're negative and being mean to yourself and talking you know doing things you don't like to do not you know getting into nature not feeling good feeling passion for what you do it doesn't even matter yeah wow what are some of yeah. the that you uh received i'm so curious Oh, wow. Um, so I started technical physics, but I only got like polka dots. So that's like the first year that I rounded up. Then um, I got physics and chemistry as a teacher in secondary school. So I got all these teenagers, you know, teaching them physics and chemistry. And then I went to do the same, but then IT and I went to do like, it's not really for teaching. It's yeah, it's for teaching, but it's not to be a secondary school teacher. So IT, you know, computer science, databases, all of that. And then uh, eclectic energetic naturopathy. So then I became official registered therapist. And within that, I got my diploma of uh, Western um, medical, how does it say in English? Basics. It's called Western medical basics that you have to do. Um, yeah. Before you can be an alternative therapist, you can never be a doctor, by the way, in the Netherlands doing anything but study only pharmacology. So you can never become, I know that in US there are lots of schools and you get a doctor and you become natural doctor. It's impossible for me, unless I go to the United States, pay a whole lot of money to get my title. But um, so you become a therapist and then you can help people with homeopathy, herbs, meditations, energy healing, like taking away traumas, finding blockages in their physical body, like emotional blockages and teach people how to release it. And um, so you do yeah, all other stuff. So do you do, do you do consultations for people? Do you work with people? Yeah. Yeah. This last thing I still do. Yes. Because when, that's really my passion. I need your help. I'm going to hit you up. <laughs> yeah. I need to, I need to see you. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, come to our festival. Oh, I can't wait. One day I will definitely be at your festival for sure. For sure. That's one of my dreams. Otherwise, I'll come to Miami. Don't mind. Please come to my house. We'll have a fruit festival in my house every day. Yes. Every day. I love it there. <laughs> it's a fruit festival here. Okay. Wendy, thank you so, so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I'm going to DM you. Uh, I want the free guy, the free. Um, uh, five steps and I want a consultation with you um, because that's very powerful and I know I'm learning now that a lot of issues that I'm dealing with and my clients deal with are all here and emotional but sometimes they're here <laughs> you know, the sub yeah I'm serious I'm like I know like it's funny but I'm also serious the subconscious mind 
is not the thoughts that we are aware of. It's, it's, it's beliefs that maybe our grandpa set when we were a baby and they glued there in the background, but they create all this other crap, let's call it just what it is, this gigantic mess. And sometimes, I don't know if you believe it, I believe we have multiple lives, I believe our soul is like uh, unending, like endless, endless. And sometimes it comes from other places, you know, and, and we resonated with this belief that's blocking us. We just have to get rid of that. And it's, it's okay, I can say it, but for me, it's really easy to, to find it, but then to change it, we can do it. And then after you have to walk the path, then after it's up to you to continue. And that's where the, the mindset comes, like you said, like motivating and this list. And that's when you, you have to walk it. <laughs> I agree with this. And I was somebody who actually didn't believe in this. Um, previously, I'm not like a woo woo spiritual person, but the thing is I have seen clients and myself have health issues, but eating perfect, exercising every day, you know, all these things, right? Like no health issues, like on paper, but they don't feel good. Like their blood tests look perfect, all this stuff, but they still have issues and it's not physical. It is emotional and it's so important that we address it. So Wendy, thank you so much for bringing that up. And Sherry, thank you for being here. And um, yeah, guys, get the bundle if you want to expand your knowledge <laughs> on wellness. There's a yoga um, course in there. there. There's a course on how to become a vegan millionaire by Ted Clark. There's a course on how to curb your cravings by Rock and Romance. There's a brand new book by Chef AJ. There's a book from Nate, Raw Natty Nate. He teaches you how to grow your own microgreens, sprouts, and fermented food. And I don't think there's anything more important than growing your own food at home. I'm actually growing some celery right here. Hey, okay. how cute. Okay. So cute. So um, cute. And you don't need a land. You don't even need to have a, a backyard. You can do it from your apartment. You d Trust me, get this bundle. It's ridiculous. Over 35 courses for $49. The sale ends next Monday. So click the link below. I'll leave Wendy's link or go to Wendy's bio. I really appreciate you, Wendy, and I will definitely be messaging you. So thank you so much for being on here. Thank you, Janet. Let's do this again soon, okay? See you soon. Yes. Next week. Yes. Monday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. We'll see you. Okay. Thank you so much, Wendy. Have a great day. Bye. Thank Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye, guys. Thank you.